wearing a crop workout wear and we're still this. Um, Today's video, I did a seven day workout with Grow with Joe. It's called a walking workout where you basically, the premise of the workout is for you to walk your way to weight loss. Yeah. Let me just put it there. Like, I'm doing all of this because I ain't got no lipo money. Because if I did, Baby girl will be under the knife getting snatched. Okay, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's also important to work out whether or not you like or you baby or you, or you whatever. So I did this workout for seven days. I really wanted to see the results. I also really wanted to motivate myself while documenting the, the process. And these are the results I'm going to be presenting to you guys. Obviously, with walking you guys through how everything was and how I felt through the whole process. So if that's something you want to watch me review Grow with Joe's workout. Please like this video and watch till the end. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. It's fun over here and like this video as well. So you guys, I know that today's video is actually really different. I've never done any video like this, but I decided that, you know what, I was going to start this process and I was going to document it for YouTube and also kind of give myself some motivation because you know when you document stuff, it actually gives you ginger to finish what you're doing. Anywho, so this video is different on so many levels, <laughs> so, so many levels. You already see from the title and from my outfit. I have never, I don't think I've ever worn a sleeveless outfit on my videos before because I always felt so insecure about my fat arms. Like, I cannot believe this is me, like, wearing a crop workout wear and wear sleeveless. I have record breaking. I have never done it before. A bit of a backstory is like six, seven or eight years ago, I was a gym junkie. Like I was a gym rat. I was always working out morning and night, like two hours every day. I was always working out. I was doing P90X. If you guys know P90X, you know that shit is intense. Like it is crazy. So I remember I did that workout for, I did that workout after my first engagement broke up actually. And honestly, my body snapped. I just needed a distraction. So I was like focusing on my energy. I was writing ICANN exams at the time and I decided to do P90X and get my body snatched. So I did it for like, it's for like a buck. I did it for like about three months. And in no time, honestly, like in the space of three to six months, I had gone from like a size 18 to a size six. I'm not kidding. I'm gonna look for the pictures on I'm gonna look for some pictures on Facebook where I was like skinny. And I had lost so much weight like drastically and I was doing that exercise, like I was going hard at it. Then I decided to leave the country, so I moved out of the country and I just you know, settling into another country and setting up your life all over again and also like I was still going through the breakup process and everything. I stopped going to, I stopped working out as much or as hard as I used to. And guess who's back to where she started many years ago? Yours truly. So I'm I'm literally like I checked my weight before I started doing this workout, I checked my weight and I was literally back to where I had started. So I'm like, no, that's it. You need to make a change. You can't just let life pass you by. You can't just, and you can't just accept things for what they are without putting in some effort, putting some work into this. So I decided I was going to start working out again. Please, you guys, shout! Just give me a shout in the comment section. Like, clap for me. Okay, it's not easy. Meanwhile, this is something I had tried to do. This is not my first time trying to start a workout process before. But before, I used to come at it with such a negative mindset. I felt like I'm doing it just for the weight loss. But now I'm just like, you know, I'm going to take it chill. And I'm going to do something that is low impact because of asthma. And I found this um, exercise. It's called Grow with Joe. I stumbled on this workout on YouTube. It's called Grow with Joe. Don't tell me my wig has been looking off the whole time. Has it? No, I think it's fine. So I stumbled on this girl on YouTube. Her name is called Grow with Joe. 
channel is grow with Jo. She does this walking workouts, and I decided, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it for seven days, see how it works, and then I'm gonna come and tell you guys the results. Obviously, this is not day seven. I'm still doing it because I love it. But anyways, let me first uh, tell you guys how it was. So on day one. I was so exhausted. Like this is a routine I was not used to. It was so difficult getting out of bed. Like I pleaded with myself, dragged myself, begged myself, cajoled myself, bribed myself. I did everything with myself to make sure I got out of bed to do that workout. Because I mean, it's my first day starting a new routine, and I just, I just knew that I needed to start. Once I start, I know I'm going to continue the process. So that was how day one was. And funny enough, like that was my first time trying to work out, and I loved it so much. It wasn't intense like P90X, but I, I was sweating and the water was dropping on the floor. So I knew that yes, I'm going to keep trying. The next day as well was also a struggle. Hey guys. Morning. Hi. I was thinking that this morning I would get to work out outdoors because sometimes I skip outside. But it's raining. This it's rained. It just stopped raining. Let me show you guys. What is looking so bright and beautiful? This morning was actually. A massive struggle to wake up but it was less of a struggle than day one day two was less of a struggle but still a struggle and then what also what was also motivating me is the fact that she has so many different workouts on her channel this is not a sponsored post i wasn't asked to do this so she has so many different workouts on her channel i was like okay at least i have ooh, at least i have a variety to pick from every day that i'm working out A struggle but not that much of a struggle as day one because you know at day one I already put myself into the rhythm I already knew that okay this is it I'm going to give this thing my best now by day three I already got into the swing of it like by day three I was already looking forward to working out like who is this girl who is this girl I was literally already looking forward to working out Today is day three. I made it. I just threw this board. Right now, I have to go get ready for work. I'm exhausted, guys. Um, day four, and I, I think I started on a Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. So day four as well was like that. You guys, look at Bella. Bella is outside. She had me opening the window and she looked up. Hi, Bella. Can you see Bella? Can you see Bella? See Bella? See Bella? See Bella? See Bella? Look at Bella. Look at her. See Bella. See how she's looking. Like. Before done, you guys. <sighs> you guys, day four workout complete. Oh. <sighs> I'm so happy. Oh my god, let me show you guys something. See? Because I'm tired of washing and wearing this every day. Having to wash and wear, having to wash and wear. Let me be honest, I don't wash every day. So <laughs> I'm tired of. So you guys wait, I ordered some new gym wear. This brand is a three store brand in Lagos. 
I ordered from them. I'll leave the link in my description box and I'll leave it on the screen as well in case you guys want to buy. It's a thrift store in Lagos that my friend, my colleague in the office puts me on. She's the blog. So I ordered three new sets because I already have two. So now I'm going to have five. One for each day of the week and then rinse and repeat. Eh, eh, eh. I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys what is in here. Maybe I'll do a gym wear haul, but I only have five, so what's the point? Anyways, I'm exhausted. I have to go get ready for work. My manager is not coming in early today, so she told me to handle everything because I'm the assistant. Yeah, you guys can't make so much, Jesus. But don't worry, very soon, body banging, summer body loading, winter body loading, all year round banging body loading. So, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to let the day go by without showing you guys how beautiful it is outside today. You know that's our new favorite thing. It looks beautiful I will never get tired of the blue skies with the trees in the background honestly every day I feel so blessed that we have all this to ourselves this was a steal this was prayer answered because we were searching for house for ages anyways That was exhausting, but I love it. Catch you guys tomorrow. Actually, that was my day five. By day six, I was over it. And then the weekend came. So the, that weekend, I was in M's house. I was in my friend's house. Hey guys, good morning. How are you guys all doing today? Today is day six of seven of my straight seven days of workout. I'm using to ease myself into working out. And you guys, I can't tell you how proud of myself I feel like how amazing this journey has been even though it's just day six to be honest I really don't feel like working out this morning like I'm tired not physically because I slept well but I'm kind of tired like mentally because it's that time of the month and you know how that time of the month can be it can be very disturbing and irritating and you just want to rest and not do anything this is why companies should be giving us breaks for that time of the month so anyway today is day six of seven i really do not want i've just been complaining to m because i'm still in m's house i've been complaining to her downstairs i am i really do not want to walk out but the good thing about it is i enjoy it and i'm thinking like i know that by the time i'm done working out i would be happy that i worked out aside that i do enjoy the workout so it's just for me to get myself started usually that's the main problem starting one this is not my favorite gym wear there's one i really like that flatters me brings up my body yaddy 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 so i want to choose a workout oh my god you guys I'm done. see the two workouts today on the surprisingly on the day i did not feel like working out i did two workouts so i stuck it in the background i always like watching it to the end so that she would tell me well done you finished the workout look you guys cannot believe it the day i said i'm not gonna work out i don't feel like it i did two workouts honestly the trick and the key and the secret is just start I didn't want to stand up for that workout. I was so exhausted because also this last week has been like my busiest week in the office because we were doing something. So it was crazy busy at work and then combining it with a new routine. It was just crazy. But I knew I was going to pull through. Um, day seven as well. Day seven, I didn't sleep in the house. I slept in a hotel. Me and my husband slept in a hotel. So it was the same thing. Get out of bed. Oh my God. And let me tell you guys something. When I'm working out, I stink up the whole place. Like I sweat. Like I sweat and everywhere was stinking. I remember Casey woke up while I was working out and he ran out of the room. He's like, what? 
<laughs> so I don't even like that's I don't really like jeans. I like working out with anybody. Like I need my space to smell. Okay? <sighs> you guys, I did it again. Oh my god. I woke up this morning. See how I'm sweating. Oh my god, you guys. <sighs> I woke up this morning and I had the most terrible menstrual cramps. Like I couldn't sleep. It was as if somebody was inside my stomach. Tiny not tight. It was so painful. Ladies, I'm sure you can relate. I told myself like, that's it. There's no way you're going to be able to do a workout. I was, you know, yesterday the six, I was tired and I wasn't in the mood. Today, the pain. Let me give you guys better light. Let me see. I think where I was is okay. Okay, what do you guys think? Anyways, let me. The pain I was going through was excruciating. But in my some, something in the back of my mind was like, but you know if you do your workout, you'll feel better. I stood up, I said, let me just do a short one so that I don't get late for work. Because before I could stand up on my bed, you guys, hey. I said, let me just do a short one. Just the same as yesterday. I did the first short one, 17 minutes. I didn't feel complete. I did another one, 17 minutes, 34 minutes. I guess it really doesn't matter how you feel. Just do it. Guys, see how I'm sweating. I want to take progress pictures in the mirror. My whole body is drenched. So yeah, this brings me to the result and what I accomplished. Let's say what I accomplished is an ongoing process. This is not a workout video. This is not a area from size 20 to size 6. This is not that kind of video. I'm still in the process. It's still a journey. But I can't believe I'm... See... I can't believe I'm that bold to actually sit down and expose my arms on it. I would never have done that before. Never ever. So anyways, let's get into the results, which is what, which is, which I know is why you guys are here. The result of my seven days doing, following a group with Joe, walking, workout routine. And I love, I love this babe's energy so much. Like, she'll be telling you to do workouts that are killing you and she'll be smiling and she should be making you feel like doing them. So her energy is just so much. I love watching it till the end whenever she tells us, Oh, congratulations, you made it. It's always so fun. Anyway, back to the results because I'm rambling. I would first like to start with, okay, and also, please, you guys should not leave any spoilers about the results in the comment section. Just You can just comment like, wow, amazing and stuff. But don't be like, oh, you lost 10 kg or something. Just Let's just not do that. So anyways, as I was saying, my results, are you ready? First of all, I'm going to start with the non-numerical results. I'm going to start with normal results. Now, the first one, you actually took notes. I was like, oh, oh my God, you guys. I, I also absolutely have to mention here that I didn't change my diet. In fact, I, was, I think I was even eating more during this seven days of at the workout. I was even eating more. Like, I didn't change my diet. I was eating late nights, which is really bad. I'm trying to stop that, that routine right now, but it was crazy. Like, well, let me just say, this is just workout. I didn't change my diet. Anyways, um, so one thing I noticed, all the things I achieved from the seven days of workout is, number one, I noticed that I'm, I'm a lot happier every day, the, every day that I work out. Like, and I think it's true because it's also like psychological, psychological or biological. It's also... It's that thing because the body releases some some this thing to your brain whenever you work out so it makes you happier makes you put you in a better mood i noticed that i'm happier like to the extent that i think on like day three or day four my general manager was like uh -uh, what's going on in your life like you're so chirpy you're so happy these days you're so positive what's happening like he was like you need to tell me what's going on my head i'm like don't worry i'll, I'll send you the link to this video yeah another thing i noticed that i have more energy like i would have thought that when i do my workouts in the morning i still go to work and sometimes i work till like 10 in the night i don't get home to like 10 30 especially this past week so i worked long really long hours and i thought like i would be feeling exhausted yes i'm not gonna lie during the day sometimes i just feel like so out of it but for the most part of it i have a lot more energy and i think it comes from like mental clarity Another thing is, I feel like I have more mental clarity. I know it's just seven days, so I'm not trying to be like, oh, this is this, no, 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 it's not magic. But this is, personally, this is what I think is happening. I also feel like I have more mental clarity during this process. Like, I just feel proud of myself that I'm finally doing something, working on my body, working on myself, working on something that I 
told myself I was going to be doing for a long time but kept procrastinating so I just feel like successful because I'm already doing it even though I haven't gotten to my destination do you get but I'm enjoying the journey I'm enjoying the process another thing that I noticed during this process is I drink a lot more water oh my god I can consume like four liters of water every day I don't know if it's a thing with working out and sweating in the morning but I'm thirstier all the time i'm not thirsty for like fizzy drinks coke sprites you know i'm thirstier all the time and i'm drinking a way more water than i normally would drink even when i try and then okay this i think this process as well is has has really motivated me to transform the other things in my life that i've always thought i would transform <laughs> sorry about that so this this process has taught like put me in a mindset of like focus focusing on the things i feel i need to do better for myself in my life if that makes sense you know this whole main character energy romanticizing your life yes yeah, so like it i feel so grown from this process another thing is oh my god this one is so important another thing i've realized in during this process or during this journey is i crave unhealthy food less so let me tell you guys because in our house me and my husband don't really cook like that we always buy takeout and the most decent thing that i think is around where we live is chicken republic and you know chicken republic is fried soggy unhealthy chicken like even though i'm still gonna have it sometimes but like that's literally what our diet is made up of like we are always buying we're always ordering food or buying food from chicken republic like has been so unhealthy even though We've been telling each other that we want to like start eating healthier want to incorporate more smoothies more fruits and vegetables into our diet we haven't really started because the most accessible and also cheaper option is chicken republic that's what we've been having if you don't have chicken republic um sometimes casey will buy like fried yam like deep fried yam sometimes you buy like deep fried akara sometimes you buy like suya greasy food so we've been eating we both know it please we've been eating really unhealthy food like since we moved here like adjusting living in a new house and you know like new marriage and stuff because we don't really cook that's a fact but i found out that when i started doing these workouts in like by like day two i crave unhealthy food less like i i now want i'm now more mentally aware of eating healthier if that makes sense like i now want to eat more fruits more vegetables i'm conscious of what i'm putting into my body because i know that i'm not going to do all that work in the morning and destroy it in the evening with one burger <laughs> no i rather do all that work in the morning and have like a salad or a smoothie or like this is nigeria so you can't say i'm not gonna eat rice i'm not gonna you eat it but you're just more mindful of what you eat at least that's what it has done for me on day four another thing i realized is it wasn't supposed my period wasn't supposed to come when it came but on day four i started having my period and i don't know what it is oh my god i do not know i don't know what happened to me you guys i have no zero idea but by day five six and seven which explains why i was less motivated on those days i had the most severe cramps i have had in my whole entire life like it was visible on my face my boss was like are you okay i'm like i'm literally dying inside of a bit but yeah i was like i'm literally like i had the i've never had this kind of cramps before so i want to take it as a positive i, I believe that maybe my body's already started to heal itself or something because i wasn't even supposed to have my period as at the time it came out but it came out and it was it was excruciatingly painful i never have that kind of painful periods just maybe discomfort or something but this one was out of this world so yeah that's another thing that happened on by day four now unfortunately i didn't like measure inches my belly my thighs and all of those things before i started but i checked my weights so i can tell you like what i lost in terms of weight which i was really surprised at no to be honest when i checked the scale i was a bit disappointed because i thought i would lose more but then when i thought about it i didn't change my diet i was even eating later into the night like so i'm like that's a bit it's been ridiculous to be hoping that you'd have lost more however excuse me before i even tell you guys how much weight i lost excuse me before i even tell you guys how much weight i lost guess can you give you take a wild guess in the comment section and tell me what you think i lost anyways i'm not going to put you in so much you guys i'm just looking like a snack i'm vain and i know it and it's okay okay like was i your finished work what 
Usaya finish was like, <laughs> just took a moment in the comment section and say, thank you God for creating such a beauty on planet Earth. That's the item of my vanity. <laughs> Anyways, drum roll for how much weight I lost during this process. To be honest with you, before I even say how much I lost, I also want to put it out there that for me, the number on the scale is not what's most important. It's the other things I listed, which way, which are way, I think are way more important. To me, even the most important thing for me is that I've started the journey and I'm being consistent with it. So that's motivating enough. Anyways, so I'm not going to tell you guys what my weight was before. But after I finished and I stepped on the scale, I had lost 3 kg, like 3 kg. I know some people are going to come and comment and say, oh, that's water weight, it's not real weight, it's blah, 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 blah. I don't care <laughs> because it's still progress to me. Like I was like, at first I was disappointed, like, huh, just 3 kg. After all that, early morning, one hour, sometimes 45 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, like, mm. but then I was like, that's a 3 kg in a week is a lot. If you lost 3 kg every week, your weight loss goals you achieve your weight loss goals in no time so yeah that's basically it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope this motivated somebody to start doing something that transforms their life stop procrastinating pro <laughs> what stop procrastinating on that thing you've told yourself you're going to work on and you're going to change and just make a bold step and go do something that gives you progress so let me know what you guys think in the comment section remember i said no spoilers love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs> Please, I look like a snack. You all know, just comment it below. <laughs> that this face is beat to the gods, beat to the heavens. <laughs> Anyways, this makeup is done by my girl, Busayo Banjoko. I'm gonna leave her name on the screen, so please go and book her. She's available to travel all over the world. And also, she's a <laughs> See my face now. See my face. She finished work. <laughs>